Yeah, just want to share a few verses from Psalm 137, verses 1 to 4. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof, for there are they that carried us away, kept of, required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Just want to focus on that verse. Verse 4. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? The psalmist doesn't answer the question here. He never tells us how we sing the Lord's song. Until to get the answer, we need to go back to the book of Ezra, Nehemiah and Esther. When we go to these books, we see how Daniel and his friend sang the Lord's song. We see how Nehemiah sang the Lord's song. We see how Ezra, the priest, sang the Lord's song. And Nehemiah ate Israel is back in the land. No longer had the rivers of Babylon. They are gathered in front of the water gate. In their midst, Ezra stands and reads the law. That's the first five books of the Bible. He reads it from morning until midday. We see the people giving attention to God's word. This is the very words they did not hear in a foreign land. Nehemiah. I'm just going to go there. 8 verse 6 reads And Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people answered, Amen, Amen, with lifting up their hands, and they bowed their heads and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. They worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Oh, how we need to get a, to worship God like that, with our faces on the ground. Worshipping the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Worshipping the creator of the universe. Oh, I just yearn for you, for every Christian out there to really focus on God today and worship him. Worship him in spirit and in truth, the Bible says. I just pray today that you would just come and even look into God's word and find out how to worship him. We need to know how to worship our God. We need to search the scriptures daily and find out the truths of God's word, just as they did in the days of Ezra, Nehemiah and Esther. Esther was chosen for a time such as this. There's many out there and you're chosen for a time such as this, but you need to get into the word of God. You need to worship him. You need to bow your heads before him. You need to, if you don't know him, you need to repent and come to. You need to just fall on your face and give your life to Christ today. I just urge you today to turn from your sin, to turn from the ways of this world and come to Christ. Bow down before him, for he is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be honoured today. He's such a marvellous God. I just thank God for the day and hour he saved me. 18, 19 years ago. He changed my life. He can change your life if you just bow the knee to him, get on your face to him and repent and submit to God's ways, not your own ways. Proverbs says, lean not your own, on your own understanding, but trust in the Lord. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Acknowledge God today. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And come to Christ today. I urge you to come today. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Jesus is the way. Come to the way today. Come to Christ. Amen.